Now, I haven't seen too many otters in my day, but I guess some of them are a little naughty. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for the Ruski Brewski Review. And today, the beer I have for you is the Naughty Otter Lager by the Ganoko, Ganok, Ganok Brewing, Brewing Company. Um, they're out of Ganok, Ontario. Ga it's not Gatineau, no, that's Quebec. Ganok, Ontario? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry, guys, but this is their Naughty Otter Lager. Orange, yeah, uh, orange, white. I thought it was yellow. And there's a little otter on the side, on the opposite side here, just chilling, having a little bit of a sinister smile there. Really, really cool can design. It's actually a redesigned can. Their other one was more all orange and an and a otter just sort of floating down a river. I'm not sure which one I like better. I kind of like the original better. Um, this is this is a bit too clean cut for me um, in the fact that it's called Naughty, Naughty Otter and you're thinking, oh, they're going to be a little bit playful. And I think that's what the first can's... Um, can design really really came across with a little bit more playful a little bit more fun but you know what changes all changes always change some people like it some people don't it's a nice looking can for sure but do i prefer it to the original no not really but this is coming in at 5.2 percent alcohol by volume uh no listed ibus on the can but on the website it is showing it coming in at 24 ibus i'm gonna crack this open Pour into my Muskoka IPA glass because that's the glass I'm using today. So get over it and deal with it. Decent pour in there. Getting another lot of head. Definitely a tad aggressive. Looking at it, it is a light, light amber color with a nice frothy white foam on top. Looks quite nice. Totally clear. You can see right through it. Looks like a beautiful, beautiful lager. Let's have a smell. It smells like just any other kind of lager, to be honest. Uh, lagers have a much more, I guess, harder time to pick up different notes. Uh, when you smelled one, you've more or less smelt them all, in my opinion. Um, sometimes they do have different, different smells that you know, peak up kind of thing, but they're, they're generally smell, uh, have the same sort of characteristic. Caramel, you know, malty, bready, a little bit of sweetness. Um, sometimes there can be a little bit of corn in there. But it just smells like a lager and it smells like what you think of beer should smell like. Just, you know, when you had your dad or your grandpa or an aunt and uncle so having a beer, that's sort of what it smells like. It's just like that traditional, you think of beer, you think of a smell, you think lager. Or at least for me, that's what I do anyway. Let's have a sip. Now when it comes to taste of a lager, it can be a bit more change. This one is uh, definitely a bit sweeter in a sense uh, compared to others where they're a bit more just malty sweetness. This is much more like caramelly sweetness almost. It's not super, super heavy. It's still very nice and light, very crisp and clean. So far, it goes down quite well. A little bit of um, like yeasty bitterness on the, on the, on the end, which is kind of nice. Slight melon. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Almost fruity, nice, uh, fruity sort of taste to it too. Like a, um, I don't know, reminiscing of like a peach almost, not peach sweetness, but something, something about it. Reminds me sort of a peach, but may, maybe more, maybe no, sorry, not peach, more um, melon, melon, melon sweetness. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, like a cantaloupe. That sort of sweetness uh, coming into the beer, which actually is really, really nice. Lagers are always really good if you want something that, you know, doesn't contain or at least have a big hot flavor presence. And you want something more traditional like a Canadian or a Bud, but want something a bit better than that. 
craft loggers are always the way to go. They just tickle that fancy and you know, you, you know you're just drinking a solid, solid beer. I've, I don't think I've come across a lager I didn't like. In my opinion, I think I'm not a brewer by any means, but I think they're generally pretty easy uh, and straightforward to make. Like I said, I've never done it, so I don't know 100%. But it just seemed like it's, it's pretty straightforward um, in my opinion, but let me know in the comments down below if I'm completely wrong about that. All I know is that they're easy drinking and always great for any occasion. Looking on the can here, Naughty Otter Lager. Almost like a whole rhyme tongue twisting thing. 5.2% alcohol by volume, 24 IBUs. There's a slight little description here. A premium, all natural, craft lager born from Ontario's beautiful Thousand Island region, region created in the never ending belief that good beer is meant to be fun. And then it has their uh, Facebook hashtag, Stay Naughty, and their Instagram, which is The Naughty Otter. Also the website, thenaughtyotter.ca. Product for Ontario, 9 King Street East, uh, Ganana Coke, Ontario. I'm probably butchering that. I am so, so sorry. Other than that information, uh, ingredients. Here we go. Water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Love to see that. Description, ingredients, perfect. Now, is there a brewed on or best before date? Yes, there is. Brewed on 10-07-2018. Oh, okay, so 10 is the day, 7 is the month. Okay, that makes a bit more sense because I, I didn't see October coming around the corner. Even though this might be uploaded in October, this is still September when, when I'm recording it. Beginning of September, so it doesn't make sense to be made in... I got I got confused or maybe or maybe guys stay with me on this one It's from the future That naughty otters breaking rules of time and space who knows Wow. Solid solid beer solid lager to boot um, um, I don't really get that many lagers on the day to day. I usually go to IPAs and stuff, but man, I'm trying to find some good lagers to have, you know, like just a nice little mix and match. Sometimes I go for the Craft Lager by Muskoka. Other times I go for the Lagerdale, the Lug Tread. But Naughty Otter's a good contender so far. Moving over to the website now, like I said, NaughtyOtter.ca. You come over to the lager and it reads, Light gold color, balanced character through our unique hops. Partially filtered for a crisp, refreshing taste with a fuller finish. All natural, unpasteurized, and no preservatives. 5.2% ABV, 24 IBUs. So at their website, that's really all the information they have on there. A little, uh, slightly, little bit of a description, tasting notes, not tasting notes. Um, so yeah, on their website, they just got that little bit of a description. Nothing too, too fancy, but still short and sweet. I would like to see maybe some food pairings, what kind of malt hops and yeast you used, but still, nice looking website to boot. Colors offset themselves quite nicely. Now we're going to move over to Untapped. Mm. Just a beautiful thing. And here over on tap, the Naughty Otter has been given, well their lager, has been given a 3.48 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 2100 ratings. So a fair score for sure. Overall, it is a pretty good beer. I uh, can't find too many faults with it. It's a lager. It has a bit more flavor than other lagers, but still. It's not blowing my mind, it's just a solid brew to drink. So cheers. On the final sip, and that gets right. Blah, 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 blah. And let's get right to ratings. Naughty Otter Lager. Great flavor, sweet bread, um, biscuity, malty, slight bit of like cantaloupe melon in there, melon fruitiness, sweetness in there. Crisp, clean, goes down smooth. Can't really find too much wrong with it. It's a solid brew. It deserves a solid rating of 8 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, like I said, I do prefer your original 
can design it looks a bit more playful just like the name suggests but still this is very clean cut well refined i like the colors you kept sort of the same colors from the original can it works nice in that silhouette of that naughty otter is just that smell is, is what gives it away with him right <laughs> but yeah no good little description ingredients are posted abvs um no ibu sadly but there is a brood on or best before day on the bottom clearly labeled which is great as for your website a little bit of information there which is nice to see still i'd like to see something a bit more but at the end of the day it's not bad at all and it still looks nice and playful which is what i think you guys are all about so with that said presentation gets a solid 7.5 out of 10. with all that said guys if you have any comments questions or visual review in the future you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, May Peruski, that would be greatly appreciated as well. As for my question of the day, my question of the day to you is, is that I don't have a question of the day today, so we're going to skip this part right now. With all that said, guys, that's going to do it for me, May Peruski, and like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.